What is up guys, take it here, in this video I'm gonna show you how to maximize your speed performance on your Android device. So this actually works on any Android device and I have got my best 11 tips and actually my all of them to uh, make your Android device uh, very smooth and light. So after this video you will notice uh, that your Android device will be like a new device and you will notice that it's much more faster than it was uh, before watching this video. So let's get started. First tip you need to do is to make sure that you have the latest software updated on your device. So to check on this, just go on settings, go to more and go to about device. And and here you will see uh, your Android version and to make to update to the latest version if if there is uh, just hit on software update and click on month update and check if there is a available update to uh, in order to update your phone so why I'm telling this is because it will ha it might have some bugs and the newer version will uh, fix your bugs and quiz about life and this stuff so make sure that you have the latest version update on your Android device. So the second tip is to clean up your home screen. As you can see my home screen uh, is very dirty and has so many apps that will reduce my performance uh, when, I go, when I slide to find the app that I want and it makes a lot slower. And also if you gonna click on other app and then click on home button you notice that it needs to load until to reach, uh, to reach the home screen. So how to do that? Just keep pressing on the app or the widget to clean it. Just like that. And do it un until you clean all of the apps, the unuseful apps, and you have only the important apps on your home screen that you, that you use the most. Tip number three. Make sure to don't have a live wallpaper uh, on the background because it's like it's the same as a playing video on the background and this reduce your uh, performance of your device and and when you are uh, playing on with app with an app and you want to go back to your home screen it delays to go to the home screen and actually lags a little bit and then goes back to normal so to change your wall your wallpaper if it's live just keep pressing on the, the screen and click on set wallpaper and click on home screen and click on wallpapers so I'm gonna choose the blue one because I like blue so and then set wallpaper and then change your wallpaper and you will notice that your phone will run a little bit faster when you slide tip number four so right now we're going uh, deeper so what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, settings and we're going to about device and what we're going to do is to activate uh, developer options so go on about phone about device and click seven times the build number so one two three three four five six seven and you'll notice that developer options are enabled so go on developer options and go on drawing and click on animation of uh, windows animation scale and click on animation scale 0 0.5 and you will see that the app the window close uh, faster and if you set on 10 plus you will see that oh sorry you will, see, you will notice that the uh, window comes up uh, slower so you can uh, turn them off by clicking this you will notice that the window com comes up immediately so I'm gonna set to 0 0.5 and this 0 0.52 and this 0 0.52 you'll notice that your device will be a little bit faster you can see also you have the option to uh, as I told you to uh, turn them off and to make to so you won't have an uh, animation when you're closing an app or open up. So this uh, is a little bit uh, smallly proven 
on your Android device. So next, uh, go on apps and press on do not keep activities. So before pressing that, you uh, I really have to talk about this because when you using an app and then press a uh, home button and if you have this box enabled, you every activity that you had on the app will be for quit. So uh, as you can see here, destroy every active as soon as the user, sorry, as the user uh, leaves it. So if you have Twitter or Facebook and then turn, turn off the these apps, it will delete and will destroy every activity that you have uh, had on Facebook. And and when you will open it, it will start back to the beginning. So uh, if you want, you can click just click it on. But this will uh, save a little bit more battery life and it will. Uh, increase the speed performance on your Android device so there won't be uh, background uh, apps the at all. Also, you have limited background process, but I'm not recommended to do that because you might have uh, prob problems and you will see that uh, it might be cause some problems on your uh, phone, but it will be it will make it a little bit faster. So, tip number five. Make sure to uh, close every app that you have used. So to do this, just keep pressing on the home button. Or if you have a, an Xperia phone or other phone, uh, you will see that it has a, a button with uh, two boxes. So make sure to click on it and then it will show you this window. So disable all these apps, clean up all these app, uh, apps so to free up RAM and then another cool tip is to go to task manager go to RAM and then click on clear memory and this will uh, clear, up, clear up your RAM and makes your phone uh, feel a little bit faster and lighter tip number six if you have a lot of apps and actually a lot of uh, you have some apps that you don't use you can delete it you can delete them so to make free to free up space on your phone and make it feel a little bit faster uh, so you don't have a lot of apps on your phone so to do this go to settings and go to more and go here that when you see application manager or you have another thing just go click on on apps so to navigate to So here you have all of these apps that you have downloaded on your device and if you want to sort by size you can click on here on this button on your if you have your phone device is Samsung and click on sort by size. So on other devices you might you might have uh, three dots here or here and press on them and click on sort by size. So you will see your app from the uh, last from the big the, the largest to the lowest size as you can see here so if you want to uh, delete up an app just click on the app and click on uninstall or you can move it to your SD card if you have if you want or clear the data of the app so if you uninstall it, it will uh, delete you will delete the app from your uh, device and this makes your device uh, a little bit faster if you delete slots of apps that you don't uh, need. Tip number seven. So this tip is very easy to do. Is what we want to do right now is is to turn off uh, auto syncs from accounts. So this uh, auto sync it just updates your email, your Facebook or Twitter account if you have. And how to and these are very useful, but it actually drains your battery life and reduce your uh, device performance so how to turn off is to go to settings gonna do it and here on your Samsung phone if you have a Samsung device just click on sync here so if you don't have a Samsung phone and you have you don't have this uh, thing on your uh, device just go on settings and go to account and then you'll see uh, then you might see an option 
uh, that has a sync and you can turn it off so so yep you can find here maybe or or you can uh, turn them off by click, clicking the email or Google and turn off the sync uh, manually tip number eight so in this tip we are going to download clean master and du speed booster from Google Play Store and they are free from uh, Play Store so these apps are very useful for clear for clearing your uh, apps and junk files and boosting your RAM. So let's start from Clean Master. This app is very useful if you want to clean your junk files uh, and also boost your phone and clean up RAM. So click here to, to, to clean your junk files, click here to, for, to boost your phone, and click here to uh, clean up your RAM. It's a very useful app and Go ahead, check her out. Next app is called the DU Speed Booster. The DU Speed Booster is designed to uh, boost up your uh, RAM. Feature that I like is uh, go on settings and click on Flow Window and turn on uh, Flow Window. So then go back and you'll see a circle. Click on Circle and click on Boost, and it will free up. Uh, RAM on your phone. Tip number nine: Go ahead and download third-party launcher. Uh, very the best launcher for me is Nova Launcher because you can customize your speed on your uh, phone, your device, and also the uh, the Yahoo Aviate is a pretty good app. These two apps are free from Google Play Store. Let's check out uh, Nova Launcher. Here, as you can see, it's a lot faster. So you can see on the apps is faster too and also I'm going to show you how to make a default uh, launcher. Go on Nova settings and click on no set that is default, click on Nova uh, launcher, click always. So right now this launcher uh, sorry, this launcher will be uh, as your default home screen. To disable it keep pressing on your Home button, go on Task Manager, go on Clear Defaults, and click Clear on Nova Launcher. And then click on Always on Touch with Home, and then you are back to your main home screen. Tip number 10. This tip is actually uh, not that useful, but uh, try it, it might help you. Is to reboot your phone. So to reboot your phone, uh, Keep pressing on your turn on your power button, and you will see here an option called power off. Just click on it or click on restart to restart your phone. So, what I'm doing this because it will refresh your RAM and keep your phone fresh as you uh, turn on. It's like a computer. So, when you turn on your computer and then you turn on it back on, it will uh, it will be fresh and won't, it will be a little bit faster. So, make sure to do it. I actually do it once a week and may, it keeps my phone faster and healthy. Tip number 10. If your problem exists and hasn't uh, solved, with, solved with you with my tips, uh, just go on settings, go to accounts and go to, head to backup options, you will see backup and reset. So for Xperia phones, uh, it would be on the phone on the uh, settings. Just scroll down until you find backup and reset. Click on backup and reset, and make sure before doing the factory data reset, make sure to backup your data before doing it. So if after you after doing factory data reset, it will reset all of your apps, photos, videos, all of your data from your phone, and it will start over from the beginning. So that was my. Uh, very awesome tips guys uh, and also my best tips guys I hope you uh, enjoy this video and make sure to subscribe to my channel like comment and make sure to share my videos to your friends so they might uh, want to see them my video to solve their problems too I hope you enjoy this video I'm gonna see you in my next video peace